Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a quick word from the Lord. From Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 16 through verse 19, I believe. Yeah. Okay. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Mm. Can you imagine being filled with all the fullness of God? Well, I'm here to tell you by experience. When God fills you with his love, Life is worth living. Peace totally floods your spirit. Inner satisfaction is at an all-time high. That's why we have to, as Psalms 91 says, we have to um, dwell in the secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty. We have to be all up under him. We have to be tangled up, tied up in his love. Listen, I know the Bible says God is love. I know the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe on him shall never perish but have everlasting life. Paraphrase. But when you experience the love of God, all of your feelings of worthlessness disappear. All of your sensations of self-hate and your attitudes of, 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 oh my goodness, your attitude of wishing you had never been born and feeling like there's nothing about you that is even worth being here for that that nobody wants you that nobody loves you that when you experience God's love listen even when you hate yourself all of that changes when you experience God's love that is a question you should never stop asking until it happens you will know and you will be so much a different person as a result. You will be shocked at how much you could actually love yourself. You will be shocked to know that immediately at the same instant that you feel his love enveloping you and filling you, you will instantly have a love that was never there for him. It is the most bizarre thing. And as you go after that day, because God won't keep you like that because you, you won't be good for anything. But after he leaves you and that feeling of love goes, you know, you will know that you know. There will be no more question about whether he loves you. You may question other things he does, but you won't question that. You will be so certain that healing will begin, that that uh, an inner gratification you'll even be able to appreciate yourself and listen when you feel his love you won't doubt him so much we all doubt him a little bit i mean it's just part of being human but you won't doubt him like you did before that experience it's one thing to walk in faith it's another thing to have what the old saints used to call a no-so experience. You know that you know that you know.
and nobody can talk you out of it either. That is a certainty that goes beyond all doubt once you experience God's supernatural love right there showering you. It, it is the most bizarre thing to feel that God would stop what he's doing, come out of all eternity, and come to a nobody to show his love. To, I, I, it, it blew me away when it happened to me. I was in my living room. And all I could see myself as all my life was a nobody. I hated myself. I felt worthless, useless, whatever. You can, whatever adjectives you can come up with, that was me. But let me tell you, I stopped being so concerned about what everybody else felt about me. Once I knew that I knew that I knew that God loved me, that was the first day in my life I said to myself, I am somebody now. I hope and pray that God will be able to grant you your heart's desire of experiencing his supernatural love. His love enables you to love beyond any, any length that you've been able to love in your life. God's love stretches you way beyond your own limits. It is a, a beautiful love that it doesn't just sit in you. When you get with other people, you feel love, way more love than you did before that experience occurred. So I just really hope that you get to have that experience. But the Bible says you have not because you ask not. Ask God to give you that supernatural experience with his love, to consume you in his love. You will be validated for life with all your flaws and all your imperfections. His love will keep you afloat. Not only will it keep you afloat, but that will be a great way of him strengthening you on the inner man. And when God strengthens you on the inner man, it's better than a shot in the arm, baby. It's, I wish I could describe it to you. But God is so worthy of our commitment. Because a lot of us see God through the eyes of religion. Don't. Don't. I said don't. Oh, you did. No. No. When you look through the eyes of God's love, you understand unconditional love. That this is a love you really don't deserve. But wow, he still gave it to me. He still feels all this love towards me. As, as much as I get on everybody else's nerves, he still wants me to be around him. He loves me. He enjoys me. He, he wants, wants my company. He wants fellowship with me, with me, of all people. Almighty God who created the universe, and who knows what else we don't know about out there. I hope and pray you get to experience it. I hope and pray you get off of religion. And you get tied up, tangled up, bundled up, snuggled up in God's love. I really hope and pray that happens for you. It will make a world of difference in your life. <laughs> God bless you. Be reassured. Keep asking. Ask and keep on asking. Yeah. Nag him about that love, y'all. It really makes a difference. God bless you. And do me a favor. When you get that experience, let me know. Let me know what it was like. If you'd like, I'll do a video about it. God bless you.